Hey everyone, this is Pastor Anthony Nix from Anderson Seventh Avenue Church coming at you with another weekly devotional. Now I have a question for you. What do you live for? Some people live for fast cars, luxury, jobs that pay lots of money, power, fame, and the list goes on. If I were to think of one idea that ties all of the things on this list together, it's selfishness. God calls all Christians to live for something more than this. The Bible calls citizens of God's kingdom to live by a principle that transcends selfishness, and He calls us to be selfless. If we call ourselves Christians, we have to be like Jesus. Jesus never lived for His passions and desires. He lived to do God's will and the benefit of others. When we encounter Jesus and choose to follow Him, we have to lay down our passions and desires and make them subject to Jesus because we'll never be like Him if we always come first in our minds. Jesus calls us to have His heart, a heart of service. The heart of service is more than just feeding the poor or helping the less fortunate. The heart of service is a way of thinking, a transformation of worldview. It's not enough to just do community service. A heart of service will always inconvenience you. A heart of service will prefer to suffer so that others can be well and ultimately see Jesus through you. We're not born with this mentality. Only the presence of the Savior can ever give us a real heart of service. You know, Ellen White puts it this way, I should not want to live unless I could live to do some good to others. According to her, a person with a real heart of service would rather forfeit their life than think about self-gratification. How many of us can say that they would rather die than to be selfish? How many of us can say that they would forfeit their life if they couldn't help their fellow man? I appeal to you to reflect on your motives and actions. Evaluate who you are at your core. Ask Jesus today to make you like Him. Ask Him to give you a heart of service. And while you're waiting for that to happen, just do it.